You want to give me your coat? Sure. Here you go, Travis. Hold on a second. Can I fix you something? No, I don't think so. I guess I had enough at the reception. drink by myself. <laughs> As if that would stop you. You know, Travis, I just always thought it would be you at the altar as Maria walked down the aisle. Since I've been down in Jamaica these past couple of years, I don't even know this guy. <laughs> I thought it would be me too. I don't know. When I saw her at the ceremony this afternoon, I had this really strange feeling. Almost as if she seemed pale and hesitant. Yeah, unsure of the steps she was about to take, or unsure of the choice she was about to make. But then, when I saw them holding hands at the altar, and I saw the look that she gave them, I knew she had no second thoughts. I knew she had put me completely out of her mind. I can still remember when she used to look at me like that. What happened? Did you guys have a fight? No, I mean... It was nothing like that. I'm not sure exactly what happened. I mean, she worshipped me. And I was so happy to have someone like her in my life. I felt so lucky. I don't know. Maybe I let her put me on too high of a pedestal, or... Maybe she finally saw through me and realized that I wasn't the idol or the Superman she thought I was. Most likely, I guess I was just stupid. You know, letting her believe that I'm something I'm not. For instance, I remember this one time when we were together at our favorite little restaurant. <laughs> you know, Travis, you never cease to amaze me. How's that? Well, you are so good at everything you do. And you seem to be successful at anything you try. Well, you know, sometimes I just get lucky. Travis. Don't be so modest. Okay, I bumped into Richard at the mall yesterday. Richard? Your friend from college? Oh, yeah, I remember Richard. Well, he told me that you speak Spanish quite fluently. Why have you been hiding this from me? <laughs> it's amazing. Is there anything you can't do? I don't speak Spanish. Richard's an idiot. Where'd I get that idea? Richard was one of those freshmen that liked to hang out with the upperclassmen, you know. I, I guess he sort of looked up to me. But you have to understand, back then, I had memorized some of these old Castilian proverbs. And after a few drinks, I thought it was kind of cool if I'd recite them in Spanish, you know, to impress the fellas. I barely even knew what they meant. And you never said her straight about it? No. It was just, it was so intoxicating to have her worship me like that. I mean, it was just a few days later that I asked her to marry me. Did she accept? Well, her eyes said yes. But then she did something really strange. Oh, Travis. It's beautiful. So how about it? Maria? Will you marry me? I will send you my answer tomorrow. What happened? Well, seeing that adoring look in her eyes, I thought for sure she was going to accept. So I agreed to wait a day, you know. I didn't press her for her answer. Well, I waited around all day, and I heard nothing. The only person that I saw for the entire day was some delivery boy from this flower shop. He delivered this strange plant, with no note on it or anything, just this tag with some kind of name on it. I don't know, 
maybe it's botanical name. Did she ever call or send a note? No, nothing. I waited around here until 9 o'clock, just waiting to hear from her. And then I went out and got drunk. Did you call her? No. I probably should have. You know, I just... I felt so rejected. I, I couldn't even face her, you know what I mean? Well, finally, a couple days later, I managed to work up the courage, and I gave her a call. And she agreed to meet for dinner. She was already there when I arrived at our favorite little restaurant. She was just like she always was, bubbly, excited. She was very excited to see me. She jumped up and gave me a big hug when I reached the table. We exchanged some small talk, and I, I kept waiting for her to give me some explanation why she hadn't responded to my proposal. After a few minutes, she became somewhat somber and dejected. I mean, she seemed to be waiting for me to say or do something. I still have no idea what it was that she was expecting from me. You could feel the iciness. When the waiter came back for our order, she told him she wasn't hungry, she wasn't feeling well, and then she got up and left. Other than a few occasional meetings, that was really the last time that I saw her. Hey man, you look like hell. Are you sure I can't get you a drink? This really isn't the end of the world, you know. I guess so. Why not? Why don't you come back with me to Jamaica? It'll do you good. Get your mind off all this. And I'll treat you to some really great rum. Where'd you get this? Well, that's the plant that, I, that was delivered the day after I asked Maria to marry me. Do you know what it is? No, but they grow wild all over Jamaica. Maybe this is the name here on the tag. No, it's just something in Spanish. <laughs> Speak any Spanish, Travis? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Now, let's see. Venga y tomeme. In English, that means come and take me. <laughs> <laughs>